All right, the new head football coach at Texas A&M was introduced to the fans in College Station today. Mike Elko was defensive coordinator for Jimbo Fisher's Aggies from 2018 through 21. He then went to Duke as head coach, where he led the Blue Devils to a 16-9 record over the past two seasons. ACC Coach of the Year in 2022. He signs a seven-year deal worth $7 million a season, but worth much more than that if certain incentives are met. A&M is famously paying Fisher $77 million as part of his buyout. While Elko's specialty is defense, he says he realizes the Aggies need to modernize on offense and become more explosive. And when asked about evolving as a coach, Elko answered with a type of humility that has been absent from that podium at A&M for a few years now. Coach, is there anything that you, uh, for lack of a better way to put it, learned in the last two years about being a head coach that maybe you didn't know before? Oh, gosh. Uh, how much time do you have? No, uh, listen, I think the opportunity to get out and lead an organization is, is critical. And, and um, you know, I'll forever be thankful to the people at Duke for giving me that opportunity, to President Price, to, to A.D. Nina King, and um, that entire group of players. And, and um, you know, listen, I'm here now. And so uh, sometimes those words sound a little bit off, but it mean that. And uh, I think you learn how to lead men uh, in every aspect of the program. Uh, I think you learn how to lead coaches. Uh, I think you learn how to to develop and implement an off-season program uh, and how that kind of can equip your team to do great things during the season. Uh, the organization that goes into managing the amount of people that are in a modern-day football operation, uh, you know, and then still making sure that you're doing the things you need to do from an X and O standpoint to make sure that the football product looks the way you want it to look. And so I think learning how to manage all of that, um, you know, every year you do it, you should get better at it if you're self-evaluating yourself the right way. It's only his opening news conference, okay? And it's only uh, his opening pep rally. But I thought Elko was really impressive today in the comments that I heard from him. Again, the Jimbo hire back when it was made, I guess, made sense. But, man, he wore out his welcome so quickly, I thought, in part just because of his, his attitude. And you look at, at Elko, and as I said, the kind of humility he showed today. Did you learn anything about being a coach the last couple of years? Oh, how much time do you have? I learned, I learned so much. I, I can see why that guy is such a popular hire at a and I know they, they, you know they botched it first bringing Stoops in, and it looked as though they were going to hire him. And then because of the backlash, they went in another direction. But they may have, in fact, gotten the right guy here after all in, in this Mike Elko. He's re really impressive out of the gate. And he's familiar with this brand of football, too. He coached under Jimbo Fisher as the defensive coordinator. He saw success at Duke 16-9 over the past two seasons, conference coach of the year in 2022. You know, he's going to have to get that staff together and, and finalize that yep. recruiting class pretty quickly because signing day is on December 20th. But the good thing is he is... You know, had, there's familiarity with a lot of those players on the roster that he knows. So, again, this will be refreshing. And even when Jimbo Fisher was here, Mike, Texas A&M had some of the top recruiting classes. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens they'll, next They'll season. get the athletes. Yeah. It's a matter of what he's able to do with them, I think.